Hello children. Today we will revise the lesson 17 that is helping verbs. Am, is, are, was, were. Okay. We have already seen the chapter in detail but I will just take a quick recap of what we learned in our last class of this chapter. Okay. So children helping verbs like as you can see am, is, are, was, were. So these children are, uh, these verbs are special kind of verbs children, okay. Why they are special kind of verbs? Because these verbs can be used alone on their own when they act as a main verb or they can be used as helping verbs to the main verb, okay. Now what is helping verb? To whom, which verbs they are actually helping? So children, the verbs that ends in ing, those verbs cannot be used alone, okay. They are always used with the helping verbs. If I say, suppose I will say, reading a book. sentence is not correct although it has a verb reading but still it is incomplete why because here we need to have a helping verb okay he was reading he is reading he will be reading so we need a helping verb to complete the sentence to make complete sense so suppose i take the verb is okay so i can see that the verbs that ends in I and G, they are not used alone. They are always used with the helping verbs. If I say, they play. They play. Is the sentence complete? No, this sentence is not complete, does not make complete sense. It has a verb playing, but it needs helping verb. Uh, they are playing or they were playing or they will be playing. Okay. So, they should always be a helping verb with the verb that ends in ing. Okay. The verbs that ends in ing cannot be used alone. They are always used with helping verbs. Now, as I said that these am, is, are, was, were are special kind of verbs because they can be they can be used alone. They don't need the help of any other uh, verbs. Like if I say example, if I say Rima is a kind girl. Rima is a kind girl. What is the verb here? Is. And there is no any other verb. So here is is used alone. It is acting as a main verb here. Right? So these verbs can be used alone. Or these verbs as we have seen just before this. That these verbs can be used as helping verbs. With the verbs that ends in ing. He. Was sick. You know what you see? Only one verb was, there is no any other verb. If I say they are happy, in this also, only one verb is there, there is no any other verb. So, children, these verbs is or I am. Uh, sad, suppose I am writing this and sad. So here am is the verb. There is no any other verb. So is, was, are, am. These verbs can be used alone and in that case in all these sentences they are acting as main verbs. Okay. So we have seen that helping verbs that is is, am, are, was, were. 
they can be used alone when they act as a main verbs or they can be used as helping verbs with the verbs which ends in i n g okay children so i hope it is clear to you let's take um, some example and one more thing children like uh, uh, if i take from if i give you one example right if i say he is playing So let's see the exercise part, children. Your page number fifty-eight. Underline the verbs ending in ing in the following sentence. One has been done for you. We are going to the market to buy vegetables. So our going is the verb here. We was staying with this uncle in Pune. So was staying. Was is the helping verb and staying is the main verb. So you will underline both. Was staying. Zara and Sana were playing near the pool. Underline were playing. I am waiting for the bus. Underline am waiting. Am is the helping verb. Waiting is the main verb. Uday and Aisha are taking their pet dog to the vet. Underline are taking. See and those words which shows action, children. These are verbs and with these verbs there is always a Uh, may uh, helping verb, okay? Because all these verbs are ending in i n g. So next is uh, sixth one. Sonu and Neeti were walking down the beach. So were walking. Underline this. We are writing a composition. Are writing. Underline. Meena is filling the jug with water. What is Meena doing? Is filling. Underline is filling. Tony is playing chess with his sister. Is playing is the verb. Grandmother was telling us a story. What is the verb here? Was telling. The baby is crying because it is hungry. What is the verb here? Is crying. My aunt is taking a nap. Is taking. Okay, so these are the verbs that we have to underline. Now next is. Pick out and write the verbs in the given blanks. One has been done for you. I am wearing a pair of black shoes. It is already given. I am wearing. Second one. Nina put the kettle on the kitchen table. So what is the action going on here? Put. Okay. So put is the verb here. Third one, Tony sleeps in the afternoon. What is the verb here? Sleeps. The verbs, the verbs which are showing any kind of action, they are verbs. Okay, so sleeping is the action here. Okay, sleeps. They were enjoying themselves at the party. So what is the verb here? Were enjoying. Pick out both. Okay, don't just pick out enjoying. It will be wrong. Were. It is a helping verb here and enjoy. This is the main verb here. So you will write both. Verb enjoy. Next is I am feeling very tired. So what is the verb here? Am. Don't skip the verb am. Okay. Am feeling. This is the verb. Neeti baked a cake today. So baked is the verb here. We are going to a party today. Are going. Are going. They were buying new clothes for the party. Were buying. Were buying. This book belongs to Sam. 
belongs. And that is not visible here, so let me write it here. Nine one is here. Nine one is belongs. Ten. I am reading a book. And reading. Harry entered the classroom. Entered is the verb here. E N T E R E D. Nikita is eating chocolate biscuits. Is eating. Is eating. Okay, children. So these are the verbs in these sentences. Now C one. Pick out and write the verbs in the blank spaces. Some sentences may have more than one verb. One has been done for you. Okay. Now let's see. So first one already given. Dina and Arjun packed their bags and went to school. So pack, pack is the verb and went is the verb. Okay. So let's see the second one. Little Miss Muffin sat on a tuffet. So what is the uh, verb here? Sat. He lent me the book he was reading. Now see there are two verbs. Lent. He gave the book. Lent. And other verb is was reading. Okay. So be careful. There can be more than one verb. In a sentence, you have to be careful by picking out the verbs. Geeta was sleeping when her father came home. Again, two actions are there. One is Geeta was sleeping. Sleeping or sleeping was action, and father came. So coming of the father is also action. So was sleeping and came. Okay. Was sleeping and the second one is came. Fifth one, Jack and Jill went up the hill and fetched a pail of water. So went is one action. Went is means past and so go. Okay, so it is action and fetched means to pick up. Fetched is also action. So went and fetched. There are two words. Went and fetched. Cinderella was dancing with the prince when the clock struck twelve. Now, action is was dancing, and the other action is done by clock. What is that action? Struck. Okay. Struck is the past tense of strike. Okay. So was dancing and struck. Was dancing and the other one is struck. Seventh. Seventh is they were bathing in the lake and were enjoying themselves. So what is action here? Two actions are they were bathing and were enjoying. Two actions. And don't forget the helping verb children. Verb, bathing, and second is verb, enjoying. Eighth one, deer is running across the field. So is running. Is running is the verb. Ninth one. Please open the letter and read it to me. So open is one action and read is another action. So open is one verb and read is another verb. The little mermaid sang a sad song. So sang is the verb. Vineet and Ritu are talking.
talking to their teacher. Are talking is the verb. Are talking. Twelfth one. Amit and Karun were playing football in the field, and the ball fell into a pond. Two actions are there. One is were playing, and the other is fell. Okay. So were playing. Were playing is one action, and second is fell is another. Thirteen. Tony learned the song and sang it in class the next day. Two actions again. One is learned, and second is sang. Okay. So learn is one. And Sam is the another one. Fourteen. Imagine it here. Meher is swimming swiftly across the lake. Is swimming. Is swimming. And the last one is Ayush. Is Ayush is doing his homework. He is feeling sleepy again. Two actions. Is doing is one action. Is feeling is another action. Is doing another one is is feeling. Okay. So these are the verbs in these sentences. So I hope you have already uh, written it in your exercise book. And go through the uh, chapter and try to understand it in a proper way.